Hey everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to do a Unity um, tutorial. Um, it's a little problem I come across the other day. It's like really simple so you probably may know it, you may not. But basically while doing a um, um, an app, um, when, once deployed to the uh, mobile device, I was finding that when I clicked on the button it wouldn't work. Uh, the button wouldn't respond. Um, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to go through exactly everything that I did uh, and I'll show you the solution because you may come across it. Uh, so don't forget if you like this video to smash that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, so anyway, here we go. So we've got our canvas. So we're in 2D mode. We've got our canvas here. We're going to right click, go to UI and add a panel. Okay, we're just going to make it a small panel because this is just for uh, obviously demonstration on what the problem and how I got around it. And then we're going to create uh, another panel. I'll show you why in a minute. Go to the panel. So basically, this is going to be your mask, and this second one's going to be where the buttons are. So if we make this second one a bit longer because we need it longer than the the mask okay so we right click UI and then button okay so if we just make that as wide as that so it doesn't really matter for now and what I'm going to do is control and D to duplicate control D if we just select all three of them we can control D and then oh, if we just select all three of them, control D, and then we've got another three buttons. So we're just going to add them on there. Let's just tidy up a little bit. There we go. That'll do. That'll do for this. Uh, anyway, so on the panel, what we want to do now is add a component. Um, which is the scroll rect okay so we want to add that on there um, and then over here we've got content so what we want to put in there is the second panel which has got the buttons on it so we'll just drag that into there so now that this second panel is the content to the first panel and now we'll add the mask and watch what happens to the second panel when we add the mask there we go so if we untick the mask you can see all the buttons tick it and then we've only got what's left on the mask okay so all I want to do is a vertical scroll so it's just basically up and down so if I just click on play once it engages, so there we go. So we've got all our buttons there. Just viewed in the mask. And that's it. That's it on the um, on the buttons. Okay, and it makes it a lot easier for if you've got loads of buttons and you're doing an app um, on a mobile device because then you can have 10, 20 buttons if you so wish. Anyway, back to uh, the problem. So as I say, what happens is. Um, once it's deployed to the mobile device um, I was like pressing on the button and nothing would happen so after a bit of research it turns out there's a threshold um, and basically when you put your finger on the screen um, it'll pick it up as a scroll rather than a button press because the sensitivity is to low yeah I think that's right I'll show you anyway go into event system okay and then just where are we drag threshold okay I f as default there it's set as 5 so what I did up that to 10 um, and then what that does basically is it gives you a bit more room 
to be pressing a to activate a button rather than it thinking that it's a scroll so the sensitivity is a little bit better it's not so um, not so bad and then you can activate the buttons rather than it thinking oh just the smallest of finger on there you know even if you just like move your finger a fraction it registers it as a scroll rather than a button press anyway that was the uh, that was the solution to the problem so if you come across that remember that drag threshold just up at the 10 boom there's your answer all job done so don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel where you will find a lot more videos coming we're going to be doing like unity tutorials blender tutorials um, just general mucking around on games it's all going to be good fun so we'll see you next time ta-da